A bomber is a combat aircraft designed to attack ground and naval targets by dropping air-to-ground weaponry such as bombs, torpedoes, bullets, and deploying cruise missiles. America's B-1B Lancer and Russia's Tu-160 Blackjack are two of the world's deadliest war machines. These rare beasts are enormously expensive, and not every country is able to afford them. We thought it would be cool to compare these aircraft operating in the two most powerful air forces in the world, the United States and Russia, and try to determine which aircraft is better in this hypothetical match. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. Number 1. The B-1B Lancer, aka the Bone, is a supersonic variable swing-wing heavy bomber. The aircraft is based on the B-1A model, which was first envisioned in the 1960s as a supersonic bomber with a speed over Mach 2. The combination of high cost, introduction of the latest cruise missiles, and some early work on stealth bombers all significantly affected the need for the B-1A. Therefore, just four prototypes were made, and the program was cancelled in 1977. This led to a redesign of the B-1 by lowering the top speed of Mach 1.25 at higher altitudes. The electronics were also improved during the redesign, and the airframe was improved to allow takeoff with the maximum possible payload. The first B-1B was delivered to the United States Air Force in 1986. On the other hand, the Tupolev Tu-160 is a supersonic, variable-sweep, wing-heavy strategic bomber designed in the 1970s. This aircraft is also known as the White Swan, and NATO calls it the Blackjack. It is the largest and heaviest supersonic military aircraft ever built, with speeds over Mach 2. The Tu-160 was first entered into service in 1987. The Russian Air Force has at least 17 Tu-160s in its service, with one new Tu-160M1 commissioned in 2018. All aircraft are being modernized to the M2 standard, while 10 jets are on order. Number 2. Let's have a look at the specification of these aircrafts. Around 100 B-1Bs have been built so far, with per unit cost of $448 million. Operated by a crew of four, the aircraft comes in at a weight of 192,000 pounds, with maximum takeoff capacity around 477,000 pounds. The jet is powered by four turbofan engines, producing 123,120 pounds of thrust combined. The aircraft's top speed is Mach 1.25. With a maximum range of 5,900 miles, the aircraft comes with a combat radius of 3,444 miles. The jet can climb at a rate of 5,678 feet per minute and can reach a maximum altitude of 60,000 feet. The aircraft also has six external hardpoints with a payload capacity of 59,000 pounds. The jet is also outfitted with three internal bays with an ordnance carrying capacity of 75,000 pounds. On the other hand, 36 Tu-160s have been built for the Russian and Ukrainian Air Force. Per unit cost of the latest variant is around $300 million. It holds a crew of four people. The aircraft comes in at a weight of 242,508 pounds, and it can take off with a maximum weight of 606,271 pounds. The jet is powered by four turbofan engines, generating 220,000 pounds of thrust combined. The aircraft can reach a top speed of Mach 2.05. With a maximum range of 7,600 miles, the jet can combat within the radius of 4,536 miles. With a climb rate of 14,000 feet per minute, the aircraft can reach a maximum altitude of 52,000 feet. The jet is equipped with two internal weapon bays for 99,208 pounds of ordnance, assisted by two internal rotary launchers. Number 3. The B-1B and Tu-160 look visually similar and even share some overlap in their mission sets. However, the two jets have different mission sets. The B-1 was originally designed as a high-altitude supersonic penetrator. 
Later, the B-1 was optimized for a low-altitude penetration aircraft using a combination of speed, terrain masking, and reduced radar cross-section. However, the trade-off was that the aircraft sacrificed high altitude and high speed performance as a result. The jet is no longer able to fight inside heavily defended airspace. But the aircraft still has a role in the high-end fight as a standoff cruise missile carrier. On the contrary, the Tu-160 looks like the B-1B, but it is a very different aircraft. The Soviet Union designed the Blackjack primarily as a means to deliver a nuclear strike. However, the aircraft is also capable of penetrating lower altitudes. The Russian jet is much larger than the B-1B and has a top speed greater than the American jet. Number 4. The B-1B is equipped with the APQ-164 radar system, which comes with multi-mode and an electronically scanned phased array antenna. The radar's aperture is capable of tracking, targeting, and engaging moving targets under the self-targeting and terrain-following modes. The radar provides high-resolution terrain mapping, velocity data, beacon modes, terrain avoidance, terrain following, position data, weather detection, and engagement options. The B-1B has a versatile multi-mission weapon system. Combat track radios provide a secure beyond line-of-sight connectivity with integration of Link 16. The B-1B's onboard self-protection electronic jamming equipment and radar warning receiver complements its low RCS to penetrate in hostile airspace. Similarly, the Tu-160 is equipped with Obzor-K radar, complemented by a second terrain-following radar. Although the Tu-160 was designed for reduced detectability to both radar and infrared signature, it is not a stealth aircraft. The avionics systems include integrated aiming, navigation, flight control, and countermeasures features. The latest variant, Tu-160M2, comes with an active phased array antenna radar system. The plane is armed with a modern electronic warfare station, increasing survivability against ground and air-based anti-aircraft missile threats. Number 5. The aircraft can carry the largest payload of both guided and unguided weapons. This strategic bomber has three internal weapons bays and six external hardpoints under its belly. The internal and external payload capacity are 75,000 pounds and 59,000 pounds, respectively. The jet is no longer armed with nuclear weapons, but is capable of carrying AGM-86B cruise missiles and the AGM-69 short-range attack missile. The B-1 is equipped with enhanced synthetic aperture radar capability and can carry precision-guided weapons as well. The aircraft has been upgraded with the Sniper XR targeting pod and data links to perform various missions. In contrast, the Tu-160 can carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, including long-range nuclear missiles. The missiles are accommodated on multi-station launchers in each of the two weapons bays. The aircraft is capable of carrying 12 strategic KH-55SM cruise missiles. This missile is propelled by a turbofan engine. The maximum range of the missile is 1,864 miles, and it's armed with a 200 kiloton nuclear warhead. The weapons bays are also fitted with launchers for air-to-air -air missiles. The aircraft is also capable of carrying a range of aerial bombs with a total weight up to 50 tons. The latest variant, Tu-160M2, is equipped with a new fire control system, increasing the missile's range up to 3,418 miles. Both strategic bombers are similar in appearance, but belong to different classes of combat aircraft. The Tu-160's primary role is being a strategic missile carrier, while the B-1B has the ability to penetrate highly contested airspace by using a combination of speed, terrain masking, and reduced RCS. The Tu-160 is larger and faster than the B-1B and has greater combat range, though the B-1B has a bigger payload capacity. So, what are your thoughts regarding which bomber aircraft is better? America's B-1B Lancer or Russia's Tu-160 Blackjack? Let us know in the comments section. And be sure to check out our other military videos. 
Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.